Hello. Today we're going to do a little experiment to look at water pressure in a column. And you're going to need a few things to do this. The first thing um, is not a cat. Uh, it is a water bottle. So I'm going to use an old milk bottle because there are lots of them in my recycling and I can recycle it when I'm done. Uh, but you could use any sort of water bottle. Here we go, an old water bottle here. But I can reuse that, so I'm not going to use that one. Um, the other thing you're going to need is a phone with a timer app on it of some type. Uh, you're going to need a permanent marker. Oh, there we go, a permanent marker. And you're going to need a pin to make a hole in the bottle. And eventually, you're going to need either a ruler or some other way of measuring distance, like a tape measure. So I'm going to take... Uh, my water bottle here and you need to take your water bottle and the first thing uh, we need to do is to poke a hole in the bottle uh, near the bottom edge so here we go I'm going to poke a hole with my pin in the bottom of the bottle give it a wiggle around so I get a nice good hole you want a hole that's a, a millimeter or two millimeters across so actually I'm using a, a little nail rather than a pin the next thing you need to do is to go and fill your bottle with water So here is now my bottle filled with water and I'm going to put my thing over the hole to stop it coming out. Right, so I now need my phone with the timer app and here we go, I've got the phone with a stopwatch and I'm going to record every minute the water level. So start by marking the water level at the start with your permanent marker on the bottle, like that. Then Start your timer and let go of the water. Now we're going to wait a minute and we're going to mark the water level again. So while it's waiting for it to do its first minute, let's talk about what's going on here. So why is the water coming out of the hole? Well, the water's coming out of the hole because of the pressure of the water above it. So that all this water above it here is pushing down on the water at the bottom, which is creating pressure in that water and the pressure in the water is forcing the water out of the hole. And as time goes by, you can see the water level goes down, and so the pressure will go down. You may be able to notice already, but certainly you'll be able to notice after a couple of minutes that the length of the stream here gets lower, and that's because the water pressure has got lower. So I'm coming up to one minute here now. So there we go, we've got 50 seconds, 52, 53, so at one minute mark, I'm going to mark the water level again. And I'm going to keep doing this for 10 minutes uh, or until I run out of water. Okay, so that's four minutes. And you can already see something that's changing here. The lines are getting closer together as time goes by. So while you do your experiment, I'd like you to think about why that might be. Why might those lines getting closer together as time goes by? Okay, this is going to be my last one. So now I've got 10 minutes worth of data on the side of my water bottle here. And I'm just going to use the rest of the water to water the plants. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our water bottle inside and do some measurement. Be careful not to rub your markings off as you go back inside.